Now, let me ask you a scientific question, which gets really annoying, because mm -hmm. if you go to the store, there's zinc glu gluconate, picolinate, citrate. There's even zinc oxide that I've seen in some supplements. Yeah. How do they know which kind? Or generally, of them okay, and some you shouldn't. Generally, avoid the oxides. Those mm -hmm. are poorly absorbed from most nutrients. Magnesium okay. oxide, zinc oxide. Put it on your face, but not in your body. Bingo. Yeah. <laughs> all the other ones go with it. It doesn't yeah. matter. Okay. So they're basically all fine. Okay, good. Um, and you talk about lozenges also. You, you know, you've said that you go outside, you put a zinc lozenge in your mouth. Does that, is that extra protection? Is that if I'm taking zinc supplements, do I need a lozenge as well? Or is it either or? Well, here's the thing. If you have the zinc lozenge in your mouth, you're going to have a fine coating of zinc it's it basically, if the virus tries to get in, it has to get past the throat. Mm -hmm. And if you have zinc on the throat there, it will kill it. Okay, so, so would I take that in addition? Oh, in addition. <laughs> if, I go out, if I go out to the store in the morning, yes. if I later go to the hairdresser, yep. if it yep. ever opens up in Connecticut, but if, <laughs> one day my hair won't be in a ponytail. Um, can I like that now? I'm taking a, a, an, at a number of times a day. Can I overdose on it? It's going to be hard to overdose to make it nausea, basically, but otherwise, it's not a big deal.